All right, guys. <clears throat> Today we're gonna do the uh, the secret to uh, stripping wallpaper. So first of all, it's a total pain in the ass. Uh, I'm gonna go over the key points and you know get it done properly. It's uh, not easy. A lot of steps. Very messy. You're gonna use a lot of plastic, trash bags. Um, so first of all, you get the paper off. That's pretty easy. You can rip it off dry. If it's good paper, it comes off in big sheets. If it's, if it's uh, crappy paper, it comes off in little tiny pieces, which sucks too. But you don't have to wet that first step. Take the paper off. Then you're going to be left with a brown backer. Uh, then you're going to, that's what you're going to do. You're going to mix hot water, one of these bad boys, a deck sprayer, hot water, and then the, and then the solution, you know, wallpaper stripper. Uh, put that in there. Hose the whole thing down really well. Um, and then uh, I'm actually going to hose this down a little bit more. So, and then you strip off that brown paper. Then that makes a huge mess. And you throw that crap away. And then, uh, and you try to get off as much of the glue as you can while you're doing that step. But it's really difficult. So after that's all cleaned up, this is the hardest part. This is what people don't want to do. And if you don't do this step, if you don't get that glue, all that glue off the wall, this is Corsair plaster. And I'm gonna have my guy re-plaster over it, a skin coat. So if you don't get all that glue off the wall, your plaster's not gonna stick to the wall, it's gonna fail. It's gonna fall off in a year or whatever. So this is the shitty, this is the hardest part. You gotta use one of these nice blade scrapers, nice scrape, you know, be careful with it. And you gotta clear every area. So that's what's coming off of there, and you can throw it like that. It's just this, just the last part of the glue, and you're gonna do a section like this big and go all the way down. Okay, you're gonna go all the way down with it, and then keep scraping it, scrape until you can feel that there's no more glue in there. You'll feel it because it'll feel dry on the scraper. Whereas if there's glue, it'll slide over it a little bit. And then you're gonna do your mop and bucket with uh. I got this, we got this nice sponge with like a, gr a grit side. So then you're gonna uh, sponge down the whole part where you just did, and then wipe it off with the back of it. Basically, you wanna prep the crap out of the wall. You don't want anything on there. So when he goes to, when the guy goes to plaster it, there's not little tiny pieces falling off, and there's no glue, and there's no junk. That's what's gonna get you, that's what's gonna get your plaster to stick. So, obviously it really sucks, but go on the last step, this is it. This is how you do it. It's, uh, if you don't do this step, it's not going to work out. So you just bare scrape every part of the whole wall. Wallpaper.